Good morning. How are you all? Welcome back to another studio vlog. If you are new here, my name is Lucy and I run Lula Rocks and sometimes I like to make some studio vlogs. So I will take you along on this very warm journey. If you're not from the UK, it's uh, like hellfire at the moment. We're just not very good at coping with hot temperatures in the UK because none of us have aircon in the house. You know, we're British. That's what we do. We talk about the weather and we complain about the weather. So, it's been a little while, but there's been some changes going on in Lula Rocks. So at the moment, I'm actually taking a break from Patreon and there's lots of reasons for this and I am planning on going back. But ever since I started Patreon, which was I think 2019, over two years ago, um, I've never taken an, like a month off, I've never taken any kind of break from it. And it does take quite a lot of my time, which is totally cool. But I have been really struggling to grow my Patreon. I'll be open and honest with you. And some, t oh, there's somebody at the door. No, it's next door. Okay, my window's open and I can hear their doorbell. Um, yes, I, Patreon has been a struggle for me to grow and it can be really, really difficult when you see other people joining the platform and doing really, really well from the get-go and you're kind of left behind in the dust. Um, and obviously I'm very, very grateful for all of my Patreons, past and present. You know, I'm so, so thankful for them. But it doesn't matter how many Patreons you have, sometimes it's still the same amount of work. So even, you know, when I had, say, 25 Patreons, it was still the same amount of work as when I have, like, five Patreons. And let's just say the money that you make on it isn't always necessarily worth the amount of work that you have to put in when you only have a few patrons. So I basically, I need to work out what am I doing wrong? How can I improve this? Um, do I still wanna carry on doing the, the rewards that I do at the moment? And um, I find that a lot of my creativity gets taken by Patreon and as a result I don't have any left, I don't have any ideas left or motivation or inspiration for products for my shop and obviously my shop is my main money maker so yeah <laughs> I basically decided I was going to have a month or two maybe even more I might extend it um vacation from Patreon my patrons are all aware they're all so supportive and see how it goes with Lula Rocks without doing it, without that added pressure, without that time, you know. The first few weeks I've taken it pretty chill, not gonna lie. I haven't pressured myself to be like, right, well now I'm not doing Patreon, I, I've got to do loads of stuff. I'm, I've kind of relaxed and enjoyed just not having it and it's been very nice. And then over the next few weeks I will hopefully try and push a little bit more with Lula Rocks and then I will start thinking about, okay, what am I gonna do with Patreon? But for the moment, I just wanna enjoy the extra free time that I have, basically. Woo! Lifesaver, just in case you were wondering, it's not sweat, it's water that I'm spraying on myself, because when I'm filming, I can't have my fan on. So anyway, uh, I'm not gonna be filming all day, every day. Firstly, it's too hot and, you know, I need a fan. And things have been very, very slow. Uh, I think a lot of businesses have been struggling at the moment. So I don't have lots to show you. But what I do have to show you at the moment is my stickers that have come in for Kickstarter. So we're going to unbox them, or should I say unenvelope them and have a little look. So let's go.
Good morning. I was hoping that my pins would be here, but there's been a delay, so they're not going to be here till next week. So I probably won't edit this vlog until after they're here, so I can show you. Um, did a little bit of painting yesterday, which you will have seen. That was just a little bit of kind of research and studies on some herbs and plants because um, I'd like to make some new pins soon, which may or may not involve some herbs and plants. So I thought I'd do a little sketchbook session. Today, I'm gonna to test out something. This was a bit of a, an impulse buy. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. No, this is holographic like overlay. The plan is to, I don't know. I don't know why I bought it. I, d I didn't really, well, I kind of did have a product in mind, but I'd like to put it over some stickers and make some pretty kind of holographic stickers. I mean, I've already got the ones that I showed you the other day, which are fully holographic, but um, I thought it might be fun to make some myself using this stuff for the future. When I say I don't really have a product in mind, I mean like, I don't have any sticker ideas right now. And I'm sure there's other things I could use this on. It doesn't have to just be stickers, but I mean, stickers is the main one, right? Anyway, so. So I'm going to do a test, I think with these three designs. Oh no, wait, not this one. This design, these three designs. Um, so this little Pikachu, I actually, he's very similar to the Patreon one, which is this one, that's why it's on there, so I can show you. So this was the Patreon reward for, uh, I think last month, or one of the Patreon rewards. So I've just modified him and um, made him have a little moon on his head and taken the heart away. And then I've got these herbs and a little moon child. So I'm gonna do a test with the holographic stuff that just looks like, just looks like, oh, 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 can you see it? Can you see it there? There we go, a little bit. Uh, yeah, so let's get testing. So these are the stickers before, and now we need to try and stick this over here. So I'm gonna set you down. Okay, hopefully you can hear and see everything. So basically, this is like a sticky back one um like self-adhesive and you just stick it over the other ones you can get are foil based which i could have gone with um because i do have a foil machine however um i only have a black printer that works with the foil machine so i would only be able to do black stickers basically um which i don't want i want colored sticker with this over the top so i imagine if this is over the black line it's going to interfere with the laser so i probably need to try and cut it to size so in theory that should cover everything yes it does oh this is scary so i think we need to somehow peel this off so what i want to do oh it's really sticky is Peel a small amount, I think. Lay that on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, can you even see? Smooth that down. Oh no, I've already got wrinkles. Okay, this was not smooth. Well, you know, you have to expect to have issues when you're first using something new. Okay. Okay, so the the first bit didn't go too great. There. We've got some wrinkles. Yeah, it's linier than I thought. Don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's like um, a horizontal line running through there. Oh, I think you can see it if I go like this. Um, but yeah, here's, here's a bit of messed up. So we've lost three stickers. Anyway, I'm gonna put it through the Cricut and see how it goes. Okay, so you're a bit on the wall and it's noisy. Um, while the Cricut's hopefully cutting out, I mean, to be fair, I don't even know what cutting setting I need to be on. So I just chose the normal one, it's a bit of a test really, and uh, we'll see how that comes out. But while I was doing that, I thought I'd grab one of my bookmarks, which is one I've already used, so it's, uh, it's already a little bit beaten up. And I put, oh, you can't see, you literally can't see. So I put like the, the little off cut on top of the bookmark. Already lost some stickers because of dust and wrinkles, which obviously is frustrating, but you know, it's a first time 
situation, these things are bound to happen. But some of the ones that are okay, there's not any holographic pattern there. So I'm like, and this, this film, bear with me, this holographic film was not cheap and it was only five A4 sheets. So I've already used slash wasted, tested one. If this hasn't cut all the way through, that means that I would have to do another test and so on so forth. Like this whole pack will probably end up just being test. So this is the little herb one. Anyway, yes, so you only get five sheets. It was quite expensive. I don't even know whether price-wise it's um, feasible to add to stickers, but I just really wanted it. I was like, I'm having this. How are we doing Pikachu? Right, so the Pikachus have less holograph thickness on them. Most of these will probably go out as freebies in people's orders. This one came out more sparkly. So I think you can see the sparkle on that one a bit more. So here's the little moonchild one. All in all, not a bad first trial. On the bookmark, what I did was I used a ruler to, as I peeled the the backing off, I smoothed it down with a ruler. Not sure on it at the moment, but I'll try and show you these properly now, um, away from the bright light of the window. Good morning. It's Tuesday, my pins have arrived. So let's unbox them, see what we've got. I didn't film or really work much on Friday because I was really anxious because I had my um, second vaccine on Saturday. So I was feeling anxious because I'm not very good with jabs and you know, side effects and things like that so I didn't really film um but back in the office today feeling fine so yeah let's see what we got oh my gosh okay so first up is pumpkin spice zero 2.0 Oh, actually, I probably should have got the original Pumpkin Spice Zero to show you. I'll see if I can find that in a minute. Oh, he's cute! He's cute! <laughs> he's cute! Look! He's cute! Hide my face. Don't look at the camera. No, it doesn't want to work. So this was the original, this is the new one. It's a little less pastel um, than I'd hoped. I thought it was going to be a little bit more pastel-y, but it's still really cute. So it's got more detail, but it doesn't have any screen printing. And I flipped him around to face the other way and the other one doesn't have any whipped cream. What do you think? I stabbed myself with a staple. Okay, let's try that again without impaling myself. Staples, man, evil. Ow, no. I think I need a plaster. Okay, I'm back with a plaster. <laughs> okay, so this is the bottled autumn pin. That is not a good example to show you because that is gonna be a seconds pin. This is the new bottled autumn pin. It's got a little white screen print on. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. The original one was more of like a perfume bottle. Showing you small things on camera is one of the hardest things. The whole time I'm doing this, I can't have my fan on as well, so I'm melting. It's just taking ages to focus. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That was the original pin. So it's more of like a, a perfume bottle rather than like a potion. And I turned it into more of a potion style bottle. Or it could still be a perfume just without the little spray puff thing. And then lastly, we have a brand new pin. Now, no one's in focus. 
brand new pin, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Let's not stab ourselves this time. Oh my god, it's so cute! There we go, the little foxy. So cute. Look. Oh, I am in love. That is so cute. We're back in business. So, those are my new pins. I'm very excited. So, I need to get them photographed and in my shop. I'm planning to try and get them in my shop for next week or by next week. I need to share them on Instagram. Woo! Um, so that everyone can see them. My washi tapes um, from the Kickstarter campaign unfortunately are still in production um i'm waiting for an update from my manufacturer i've had to chase them again because they haven't replied to me but i did hear that there's like a typhoon in china somewhere at the moment so hopefully they haven't been affected by that i've just got to try and be patient i've worked with them multiple times so like you know it's not like i think they've run off with my money or anything like that um it's just i do want to put more washi tape into production mainly some autumnal ones and when i contacted them they said it would delay my original order to the middle of august which i don't want so i went back to them and said okay if i don't place this order when will the washi tapes be done for the kickstarter and I haven't had a reply so i don't really know what to do but um i also have four new potion pins that i've designed which i'm really really happy with and really excited about um and i'm hoping to order them quite soonish um i'm going to share them on instagram today and i want to get these in my shop first and see how these do because i had a little bit of a break i say a little bit quite a long break actually like seven six seven months from designing pins and washi tape and stuff because i think i just lost a bit of confidence in myself i can't remember if i've said this before but like at the end of last year i put quite a lot of money aside and bought um, quite a few new pins and washi tapes that didn't sell very well. And it's knocked my confidence a bit. So I think I was like, oh my God, I can't keep spending money on pins and stuff if they're not gonna sell. And things have been really quiet this year compared, uh, compared to last year. So it kind of put me off a bit. So yeah, it's um, it, it took me a lot to put all this into production. So I want to see how these do first before I put these new potion pins, uh, put the order through for those. But um, hopefully this all does well. So I'm going to take some photos and share these on Instagram or I might do a reel. I don't know. And then I need to pack some orders and do some prep work. I actually need to prep some things like um, clipping the corners of, corners of my postcard, cutting up some tissue paper and preparing some cards. So I fold my cards, put the envelopes in and put the, um, I have little like stickers on. So I might need to print out some more of those stickers actually. But anyway, that is not the point. Point is I need to do some prep work for orders and stuff. So I might take you along with me on that as well. So I'm gonna crack on and share my brand new pins with the world.
Alrighty everyone, I am going to love you and leave you. I've done all my prep work, I've showed you my pins, which is what I was holding off for. So I'm just gonna quickly order some delivery supplies ready for when the washi tape gets here. And then I am gonna call it a day because I am so hot, I'm melting. So I will check back in with you another day for another vlog. Thank you so much for coming along and watching. And if you are new and you're not subscribed, it would be amazing if you could do so. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, that's also amazing. So I will see you again soon. Bye for now.